In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature of PowerShell Pro Tools called RapidSense. RapidSense is a high-performance and customizable IntelliSense uh, alternative for PowerShell. It uses some caching techniques to uh, cache a bunch of PowerShell elements, such as uh, commands, modules, assemblies, and variables, so that uh, it can complete those code uh, statements uh, much more quickly than PowerShell IntelliSense. So uh, I have the PowerShell Pro Tools uh, for Visual Studio Code extension installed. You'll need a PowerShell Pro Tools subscription or license for this functionality. Inside your PS1 script, um, when you open it, you're going to notice in the bottom right now you have this button that says IntelliSense. That's indicating whether or not you're using IntelliSense, which is the standard PowerShell IntelliSense, or RapidSense. If I click this button, what it's going to do is it's going to enable RapidSense. So as it enables it, what it's doing is it's caching a bunch of PowerShell information about the current PowerShell session so that when we start typing, it's much more quick. So uh, what you'll notice with RapidSense is it works just the same as standard PowerShell IntelliSense. So as I type and then I hit like um, a hyphen here, it's going to start completing commands. So uh, if I wanted to create a new service, I could type uh, new service and hit tab to uh, create that new service. It also can complete um, your parameters and as it uh, starts to evaluate your uh, typing, it'll start uh, caching more and more things, so you'll actually see it speed up as you use it. Um, in addition to um, commands and parameters, you can also do things like variables, and variables work the same way as PowerShell IntelliSense, where uh, you hit dollar sign, find your variable, and if you hit a dot, it's going to start expanding the uh, or the properties and methods of that object. And it'll actually, uh, again, as you use it, speed up. Um, depending on if you're doing the same thing over and over again, it's going to start caching that information. It actually refreshes the caches um, when you uh, debug. So for example, if I set a variable and I set it to 1, 2, 3, uh, you won't see that variable right away. But if I save this file and execute it in the PowerShell debugger, it's going to actually refresh the RapidSense cache. And you saw that in the bottom right there where it had that little progress bar. And now the variable will show up in your IntelliSense. Um, in addition to uh, kind of the performance increases in caching that RapidSense does, it also allows you to customize um, pretty much what RapidSense shows you. So this is both kind of a um, quality of life improvement as well as a performance improvement because you're actually excluding um, items that are suggested to you. So inside the settings, if you search for RapidSense, you're going to find a bunch of different uh, settings for ignoring various elements inside PowerShell. So uh, each of these text boxes allows you to enter a string and um, separate regex expressions um, from each other. So uh, by default, for example, we ignore a bunch of types. So these types, you know, you typically don't use on a day-to-day -day basis, so we just totally ignore them from IntelliSense and they won't show up. You can still use anything that's uh, ignored, uh, it just doesn't show up as a suggestion to you. You'll notice down here that I have the host variable ignored. If I come over to my RapidSense instance here and I try to type host, you're going to see that host does not show up because I've actually ignored that particular setting or variable. If I remove that from this ignored variable, what's going to happen is RapidSense is going to refresh um, the caches based on the settings that you've changed. So after that happens and we uh, go back to our IntelliSense, you're going to immediately see that I have the host variable available again. Um, in addition to uh, ignoring types and variables, you can also ignore entire modules. So in my environment, I have the AD module installed, so I have a whole bunch of AD commandlets. But I might not be working with AD today. I don't want it to suggest those AD commandlets to me. So what I can actually do is um, I can ignore that module completely. So if I just put the Active Directory module in this ignored modules text box, it's going to refresh um, RapidSense and exclude all the commands that are exported by the Active Directory module. So uh, once that finishes and I go back over to my RapidSense.ps1 file and I type get AD, you're going to see I no longer have uh, the AD module um, commandlets in my environment. So e I can easily just remove that again, and then uh, they'll reappear in my IntelliSense. And you can always switch back to standard IntelliSense. Like I said, certain features inside of IntelliSense are not implemented in RapidSense. So if you wanted to switch back to uh, standard IntelliSense, you can. 
So in this video, we went over how to uh, use the new RapidSense feature of PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio Code. You can download PowerShell Pro Tools um, from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace.